Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading here. This reading will be for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take with fists, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Just click that link that will take you to my booking site. You can book a 30 minute or one hour phone call reading. Okay, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, Virgo, let's take a look at the person you may or may not be connecting with. Past energy, present, and the future. Okay. Readings have been pretty interesting lately. I see that Emperor has been fading away. Not really in the readings as much anymore. I'm not sure what's going on there, but once in a while he pops back up. All right, let's take a look. Okay, past energy with your person. Um, keep an open mind and true love. Wow, that keeps showing up in the past. Romance of a lifetime. Uh, your soulmate may differ from usual type and expectations. So Virgo, I feel like your person felt like you were soulmates, but not like on the same page. Some type of difference, differences between the two of you. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what they could, they could be anything, really. Um, you would know. But I feel like your person was open-minded um, to the love because they felt true love. They felt that love, um, a romantic connection with you. I do see them in the past, they were weighing their options or trying to make a decision um, about some things. Maybe they were trying to balance their quote-unquote checkbook or their finances or their budget um let's try to see here your person might have had might have been trying to i i just heard the word diverse diversity um neurodiversity that just came to mind as well. Um, you might have been involved with someone who was neuro, neurodiverse. Um, let's see. But let's take a look at this Two of Pentacles. Some decision that needed to be made. Balance and balance. Okay. Yep. Wow. Definitely. Trying to sort things out or be fair, make things right in the past. Okay. The Hermit just popped out. And that's the Virgo energy. We do have Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Leo. Um, but I feel like that's a lot of, your person went into like withdrawal mode or they were hiding something. There might have been like some kind of disorder. There could have been like bipolar or I don't guess manic, man, mania or manic manic stuff going on um or maybe they were taking medication to balance out their mental state or something or there could have been some like i said some neurodiversity things going on um but it feels like it was being hidden as well now for others there may this person might have been hiding money okay um not not like laundering or anything it just feels more like um, they had to balance their money because they were legally ordered to pay something to someone and they didn't want you to know. I just heard that message. Okay, but the hanged man is here. So there's some kind of like new perspective that happened for that person. Some kind of, oh, look at that. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is like, this person really wasn't like someone who paid too much attention to love or relationships, even if they were in them, they may not have, it might've been a real struggle for them, but I feel like somewhere along the line in the past, um, your connection, the love, they saw love with you, okay? Like a blessing, that's what the Ace of Cups says, okay? They saw like, the Ace of Cups always represents it can represent grace and healing, but it also represents having um, 
something that happens that has a deep effect on the emotions, right? And wow, with that six of wands, it feels like your person felt like they were, I just heard finally recognized for who they were. What does that even mean? They felt important with you. Oh my gosh, the Knight of Cups just flipped out. So the past energy is, they felt, even though there were differences between you, you might have been different than them, or they were different from you, or you felt like they were different, whatever it might be. It's like, that's what this says about keeping an open mind. I feel like your person looked at you and this feels very much like a yin yang kind of thing to me. You both brought something to the table, but you you had different perspectives on relationships or life. You spoke differently, even if you spoke the same language, but there was some you balanced each other out in a lot of ways, but there was there might I mean I don't know if there was difficulty in this relationship, but I feel like your person kind of Either they hid something or they were just trying to, or they went in within to try to understand and reflect on how to m make this relationship work despite the differences, okay? Because there was true love, definitely true love here. Let's take a look at this present. Children and wedding, wow. Um, okay, this person is going to be marrying you, Virgo. Okay, they're going to be marrying you, no doubt. Um, now, either you're going to have children or a child together. The fool can represent like the fool, like a baby um, going out into the world for the first time. There's definitely this energy here. Your person I see coming in very stable. Or the children, for others, it's just an element of like um, bringing children together, combining a family or um, having a child, like maybe you both are kind of childish with each other, almost like in a playful way, okay? Um, raising a child, raising children, partnering up together. Three of Pentacles is marriage, the wedding card, the situation involves marriage. Here's a death card, so we have Scorpio energy here. Um, wow, what else is with that? There's the fool again, Aquarius. Yeah, I'm telling you. A transformation. I don't know if your person was like a commitment phobe or never wanted to get married. Maybe they were and it didn't work out in the past or they were in a relationship and it didn't work out in the past or could have been like zero and none of that happened. But whatever the case, um, big leap of faith here. This person is taking a, a huge risk wanting to go on this adventure with you, Virgo. You know, this is like all new hope, new paths, a new beginning. This is a new beginning for them. Okay, four of cups and the page of cups. Wow. All right. So the one thing that I feel like you need to know that I'm seeing here with your person is they do struggle with being emotionally available. Okay. You need to know that. It's not personal. It's how they are. They may have like, they may be more practical and logical um, in their everyday or in relationships, but when it comes to their emotions, they might just kind of be a little indifferent to emotions. It doesn't mean they don't feel them or have them. It just means that they're not a priority for this person. And it, you know, it, it could just be maybe emotions either overwhelm them and they just try to push them away. Um, or they just never really did well with emotions and so they just really don't. But look, any kind of emotion that they share with you, it, it comes in the form of like very childlike, right? So this is like, you know, a Valentine card that, you know, the one of your friends at school gave you when you were in like primary school or something you know <laughs> it's like written with crayon you know this person has very 
um, maybe a low emotional IQ, but when they communicate with you or when they, and I see them here sending you sweet messages or sweet love messages, their, their intention is good, it's sincere. It's just kind of childlike. Um, there's just like maybe a low emotional IQ with this person. That's really what I feel. It's not a bad thing. It's just perhaps how they are. And you, Virgo, might be really high on the emotional IQ level, you know, maybe more mature in that way, or it's reversed, okay? And they, this person's high on the emotional level, and maybe, Virgo, you're uncomfortable with the emotions or more indifferent to it, and you would just rather talk facts and um, logical things and just practical things that this person tries to could be trying to reach you through sweet ways okay but you guys are getting married they may even be proposing in a very sweet way okay so the future energy finances and career l oh, and retreat okay you guys are going on some kind of trip as soon as this person is done with their work or whatever they're doing um, they have a lot of financial obligations going forward that they'll have to take care of but four of swords is here this is r and r Okay, page of wands, this is kind of like communicating or buying tickets or talking about going somewhere exciting, like communicating about these things. Um, maybe you guys are going to go to Africa or uh, go see the lions, you know, or on some kind of like an excursion. Or maybe <laughs> Virgo, it could be you who has... Um, you know, trying to balance your emotions. Um, maybe this person sees that you have, um, you're trying to stabilize your emotions. Maybe you had the instability and stuff and they want to try to like bring peace to your life. Look, cause she's like the Leo energy. She's got that infinity symbol over her head, male or female, whoever you are, it doesn't matter, but it's balanced. It's peaceful. Maybe this person's going to get you a cat. Because this Four of Cups can be a surprise gift. Um, they could be thinking, maybe they're going to get you a cat. <laughs> but I see you guys, you and your person disconnecting from the world. Um, during a vacation time. Okay. Ace of Swords. Oh, a lot of fun, sexy times there. Uh, yep, turning point. Big change happening between you. you. You and your person are very alike, you and this person, yet very different. And not what either one of you would really expect that you would... I'm just hearing not your usual type. Expectations are, are quite different. This they're going to communicate with you going forward um, in the future as well. And sorry to spoil it, but they want to overcome any problems. And there will be some communication. Like as soon as I'm done, my as soon as I'm, maybe they're a surgeon. As soon as I'm done surgery or I'm done uh, sorting out or getting clarity and um, uh, sorting out some conflicts at work or some things I have to take care of. You know, there's mental clarity here going on a vacation, you know, uh, retreating together. I feel like this energy is coming in for you. This shadow side here, this is the devil energy. This person is like, they don't want to let you go. And they will try to move things forward with you. Um, this can be like very sexual, sexual type um, time together or um, just like obsessiveness with each other. This person's very smitten with you, Virgo. This is my crush card. They're very smitten and very, like crazy attracted to you. Okay. Um, and that Wheel of Fortune, there's big change coming here with this person. Uh, and between the two of you, like things are going to start moving. It's This will be in both of your favor. Um, there's a, there's, you're going to be spending some time together. Maybe going to look for a cat. I don't know. But you're going to be spending some time together. Maybe somebody lost a cat and they find your cat. I just heard that. Let's get some charms. Okay. Now we got a whole bunch. Okay. So we have a book. 
So maybe somebody's a writer or an author. Author, this could be a Bible. Um, or somebody's going to send you like a book or buy you a book. It's going to be a lot of reading. I don't know. You might be going to a restaurant that has like books all over the walls. Or maybe you went there. Um, also, it's a message here. I don't know. They just said, tell them to read the fine print. I don't know what that means. Maybe you're re looking over contracts. And then you've got an angel here, made for an angel. Somebody's name could be angel, or there's a cat whose name is angel. Okay, you're an angel, Virgo. And then we also have a dove with a shamrock. Hmm. No, I'm sorry, it's not a shamrock, it's a clover. Well, it looks like a clover, but it also looks like four hearts. I feel like there's like two adults and two children. Two adults and two children. Maybe a boy and a girl, but in these pictures you really can't tell. Um, but whatever it is, two adults and two children and peace. And look at all these animals, puppies and kittens. Something's going on here. And here's a doggy, a Dalmatian. Are you going to get a Dalmatian? <laughs> or maybe you have one. So they might be bringing, like getting you a kitty, maybe a spotted cat or, or I don't know. I just see spotted cat and I see a spotted dog. Or somebody's child likes Dal one, Dal 101 Dalmatians. And then we've got the infinity symbol again, you guys. Somebody's birthday's on the 8th. But there's, um, look, this is the third time with the infinity. This is things coming into balance here. Comes around, goes around. You both, I don't know if it's like separately or together. Maybe in the past there was a lot, like the equilibrium, like you guys just weren't on the same page. You weren't aligned. And it could be because you weren't aligned within yourself and your person wasn't aligned within themselves. You both saw the differences in each other, yet you were both the same. And I feel like you kind of come into balance here. Things get fixed. Look, here's a wrench. All the tools you guys need. Somebody's acquiring tools or someone works with tools. Acquiring tools to make things better in this connection or somebody works with tools or is a mechanic. Um, fixes things or right now you're looking for a wrench or you're looking at one or you're doing something or and then we've got a dolphin very playful playful protective this dolphins are angels of the sea somebody might live near the sea but this dolphin energy are going whale watching or dolphin watching or you see them in a beach but there's an energy definitely here of like playfulness i just feel like i don't even know what to call this reading i just feel like so much happiness and joy i'm gonna have to think about this one really i mean I, I think your reading is, it's beautiful. I'm just going to pull a couple of these um, love messages here because the charms really spoke. Okay. All right. So you're getting an apology from someone, Virgo, from this person. And then a decision gets made about this relationship. Okay. Things actually begin to move forward you can be completely open with this person and the relationship can stand the test of time so stay stability that's what i was talking about with this up and down roller coaster of emotion things stabilize and most of your person i see your person gets very stable as well look leap of faith this person's taking a leap of faith with you even though you guys are not typically the typical couple. You know, one of one of you, it's kind of like, you know what I just saw? Pretty woman. Maybe somebody called you pretty woman or you called your girl pretty woman or pretty, but the movie, pretty woman, you know how different they were? but how they made their lives better because of each other. You know, they brought different things to the table, yet the one thing is they were both longing for love and 
they wanted someone. I haven't seen that movie in, when did that movie come out? Early 90s, late 80s? I'm going to have to watch that again. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful movie. Okay, that's how I feel. Like a very, I don't, if you haven't seen it, if you're like younger, that's this reading, that, that movie. You guys know I always like kind of relate movies to, I see the images in my mind and then I'm like, oh, that's the movie, you know. All right, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that that was enlightening for you. Again, if you want a personal reading, link in the description box below. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And thank you. I will see you tomorrow.